Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we are taking a look at if you were to create an album, what would it sound like? What genre would it be? What would the aesthetic be? What would the impact be if you were famous and put out an album? That's what we're doing today. Um, I wanted to do lighthearted readings this week because it's my birthday towards the end of the week. So I thought I just wanted to chill um, and just take that week to kind of like rest. Um, but I still wanted to do videos and I didn't just want to do like the lighthearted videos in terms of like what do people think about you and that sort of thing. I wanted to switch it up and I know you guys love their celebrity uh video that I did uh, I think it was like February time if you were a celebrity what would your impact be like what type of celebrity would you be so I thought I'd do the album thing you know what I mean um and I thought it'd be fun and creative I've never seen a kind of uh reading like this um so I'm gonna get in now but just remember this is like more for fun I'm basically gonna be tapping into your energy and just really like feeling into if there was an album created what would it sound like what how would people respond to it that sort of thing just kind of like a play on what people think or what your energy is like but through kind of like a musical kind of theme or celebrity type of theme so if it's something you don't really care for don't worry like this is just this is just for fun you know what i mean um so i have five objects for you guys to choose from i did five because i just felt like four wasn't enough um pile number one is the rose quartz tree on the left pile number two is the rabbit pile number three is the calvin klein perfume pile number four is the shell and on the right um Pile number five is the Ari perfume. So see which object you're drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I'll see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at if you were to release an album, what would it sound like? What would the genre be? The aesthetic, the impact. Let's take a look. So you guys chose the Rose Quartz tree. Pile number one, please, Spirit Guides. Pile number one. If my pile number ones were to uh, release an album, what would it sound like? What would the genre be? Oh, goodness. We have the Six of Wands, Advancement and Recognition. Pile number one, please, Spirit Guides. We have the Spirit of Cups, Opportunity and Creativity. Pile number one, please, Spirit Guides. If my pile ones were to release an album, we have the Emperor, Wisdom and Passion. And we have the Two of Pentacles, fluct Fluctuation and Adaptability. Let's move that over. And the back of the deck, you have the Chariot, Direction and Willpower. Okay. Um, the first thing that I feel is if you guys were to release an album, the first thing that I was literally being shown is I kept being shown like little crystals falling and being planted in the sense that I feel like you guys would put a lot of like wisdom and I feel like you'd have a lot of like, I don't know why I hit the word like kind of like bend in topics, if that makes sense. So what I mean by that is I feel like you do songs that would have people think like you'd kind of like name your album something that like wouldn't be very cliche, like it would be something that would make people think. Um, and I feel like you'd have, you know, like sometimes you can see people in terms of an album and they'll have like a whole theme and then maybe they'll ask a question in one song, answer it in another song. Um, and it'll kind of like, how do I put it into words? Like they, they won't even like name their songs with like literal words. They'll be like numbers, like hashtags and things like that. I almost feel like there'd be like little things like that, like little, like alternative things in the album. And I just feel like there'd be like... I, I keep being shown like shaking up things so you know I, I don't know like the bohemian rhapsody song where it's like five like different songs in one like I almost feel there'd be like a flare of that throughout the album or throughout songs like I don't feel like you would stick to one specific genre I literally feel like I'm stretching something and I'm playing around with something so I feel like that's the type of album that you'd have I don't know why I'm thinking of like Chapelle Ron as well like I'm being shown like a lot of like really cool like aesthetics pushing the kind of like boundaries you know like when Lady Gaga came out and she was very like um kind of like out there compared to what we had at the time there's that sort of feeling that I'm being shown like I feel like I'm stretching something and I'm bending it but at the same time like I'm being shown that kind of like play and silliness and like really pushing the boundaries creatively but then I also feel like I am dropping knowledge so there's almost this feeling of like 
and this is quite interesting it's you know like sometimes people like judge a book by its cover it's almost like people will be like oh that music is just like this or that music is just dramatic like this or that music is like this but it's because of like the sound or the creativity but if you actually tap into the lyrics you're genuinely speaking about things that are like really innovative or maybe you're dropping a lot of spiritual like bombs i feel like you are like really um you know put in a lot of like deep hidden messages in there uh I, like i feel like there's hidden things as well like there's a lot of hidden sounds or like you'd have to really like di like listen to the music and look at the lyrics to really see what that song was kind of about if that makes sense i feel like if you put out a song where it would almost like i feel like you'd put out a song and it would go like number one and it would be like all like poppy like what but then if you listen to the lyrics you'd be like oh it's making me think of like Beyonce's love on top and it sounds like this really lovely like pop song because of the dance and the way she's like bop into it and then you listen to the lyrics and honestly the lyrics on that one are quite sad if you actually li listen to love on top like she's basically singing about how she was like fighting through her tears and then finally the person she's with puts her first and you're like oh like if you listen to the lyrics it's not actually that happy so I feel like you do songs like that where it's like but I feel like there's seed in, you know what I mean? Because I'm looking at the tree, it's like I'm dropping knowledge. Because if you look at the bottom of the rose quartz, there's that amethyst there. So I almost feel like I'm dropping bits of knowledge or I'm dropping like really spiritual kind of like messages or just dropping wisdom or I'm doing things that are making you think. Because when I'm thinking of creativity and I'm thinking of like the creative aspect and how you'd like perform songs, I'm thinking of something very out there, like something very like like I th I'm thinking of Chappelle Vaughan and you know Lady Gaga I'm thinking of things like that or you know like Lil Nas X like his videos are really like grandiose I'm seeing something like that but when I'm thinking of the lyrics I'm thinking of like Bob Marley's like natural mystic you know I'm thinking of like you know really deep um deep uh lyrics or like lyrics that'll have you think like I'm thinking of like the Beatles like um while my guitar gently weeps like those type of like lyrics there um but then I feel it's more grandiose again it's making me think of like Sia when she dropped chandelier and I'm I hear that has like a kind of like dark meaning to it but the video was like kind of grandiose and she had that like hairstyle and she was like dancing around so there's yeah th th there's that sort of thing but I, I see like a lot of color I feel like you'd be known for having like a lot of color or just like having like a really really bold aesthetic like i'm being shown like really like big performances or like really colorful performances like um like i'm really like really out there like very innovative like i'm really pushing like the boat um like i feel like some of you guys would have like different color hairs or like different color wigs i'm thinking of like david bowie um i don't know why i'm hearing a song fashion i'm thinking of that like i feel like things are very creative but the lyrics are like kind of like so deep you have to really listen so if people were to like judge a book by its cover I feel like people would be like ah uh, like that's just this type of music or that's just that type of music but it would like go over their heads because they're not really dissecting it if you really were to dissect it you'd understand um so it's almost like you're like almost like poetic and kind of like a roomy or like a like a Nostradamus but then you'd like color it with like glitter or bright colors and you know what I mean I feel like you'd kind of um color it with that so it was like I don't know that, I, that sounds so odd but that's literally what I'm being shown like I'm being shown a lot of Aquarian energy and then it's being coated um yeah I don't know why I'm thinking of like those chocolates that you eat and they have like popping candy inside <laughs> it's like surprise like that's kind of like how I feel um so that's really quite interesting in terms of like the impact as well I feel like um I just I, I feel like you'd have those you know um how do I put it into words what I'm being shown like you know you have like those people and they put out music for a little while and then nothing kind of hits and then it's almost like the right time period a music kind of like blows up think of like sabrina carpenter she's putting out music for a really long time and then the right period came and she honed in on a particular style and then it blew up like i almost feel like the earlier music you could have just been doing the more deeper more you know deeper songs and just focusing more on the lyrics and then it's almost like you sugarcoat it like in terms of like put icing over it and then I feel like that's when it would kind of like blow up. So I almost feel like it'd be like a steady, like steady movement. And then you'd almost like hone in on like a, an aesthetic, which feels really bold. I feel very like David Bowie. 
um very lady gaga you know what i mean very like Nicki minaj when she first came out that's kind of like how i feel but behind that um i'm thinking of like bohemian rhapsody as well but like behind that um the deeper lyrics would still be there you just almost like put on like a kind of show for it and i see a lot of like i don't know some of you guys listen to like watch like certain movies or like listen to like certain like musical theater because i'm being shown proper performances like theatrical performances i feel like i'm taken from like movies or i'm taken from old you know albums and like you know the legends back in the day and i'm like creating a, a meaning because i'm being shown like i feel like if you were to put like music out i feel like people would dissect it like you know you see threads on twitter and people are like okay the music starts like this and this um is because she's connecting to this part where she felt like lonely inside so she uses this to describe this and they do like the long threads dissect and i feel like you'd have people dissecting your music because i feel like your mind's very deep that would always flow in and i think you'd get really creative and cinematic with like the videos and everything that you put out there but i'm i'm thinking of a lot of like bohemian rhapsody i'm thinking of like lady gaga like art pop sort of thing i'm being shown david bowie Nicki minaj when she first popped out like that sort of thing i feel very like colorful and dramatic um but the meaning behind it is like i'm bringing in i'm i'm, I'm making people think you know what i mean like i'm planting seeds I'm, I'm getting that um into the music and i feel like you talk about like really like topics that maybe people shy away from but you put it you kind of like give it a cookie cut image but then like oh here here's the lyrics you know what i mean it would be like that i feel um because it's like i'm trying to make people think but i need to put on this kind of like head mask or like this kind of colorful outfit and then it's like boom i just feel like that's kind of like the it feels very revolutionary but like creative and artistic and dramatic uh yeah so that is what i have for you pal number one i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at if you were to drop an album what would it sound like what would the aesthetic be what would the impact be so you guys chose a little rabbit I'm gonna start with tarot so let's get in pile number two please spirit guides pile number two if pile number two were to drop an album what would it sound like if pile number two were to drop an album what would it sound like if pile number two were to drop an i feel like you guys would focus on like really natural instruments i feel like you guys would shy away from too much production i almost feel like there's a level of strip back like i'm thinking of just any like do you know like you think of like indie bands or like indie music and again i'm thinking of like the beatles i'm thinking of you know anything where we're, we're using just natural you know you know instruments like we're using a guitar or we're using a piano like i feel like you'd focus on that i don't think that'd be heavy production at all for you guys uh i feel like that's not everything needs to feel kind of like natural i also feel like you play with instruments like i'm being shown like fiddles and things like that um and i forgot what they're called um they're like uh what are they called they're like wooden at the bottom and then the, it looks like a little kind of like piano thing and you you kind of like push it and it makes noises i've forgotten what it's called i also feel like you might even incorporate like singing bowls or like sounds like that into your music as well i just feel like a natural flair we have the sun five of cups if pile number twos uh dropped an album what would it sound like what would the impact be like spirit of wands i feel like your music would be very niche like you'd have like a certain kind of like fan base but it would be like a niche i don't think you'd be like constantly like chopping the top chopping the tats <laughs> uh chatting oh my god what's it called topping the chats that's it i feel like you'd have like a niche type of uh like almost you, you might some of you guys might even have a band like i feel like you'd have a niche kind of fan base um like a really like loyal kind of following if that makes sense um we have the four of swords solitude and healing the back of the deck you have the emperor i'm gonna pop the emperor here 
Um, okay, the Sun, the Five of Cups, the Spirit of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Okay, another thing I'm being shown, like, I'm thinking of, like, you know when people record, like, videos on, like, film? And they have that kind of, like, hazy look to it. Um, I'm being shown something like that. Like, I feel... Like, you guys would be the type that people would want to buy your music on vinyl, if that makes sense. Like, you just seem like you'd have that type of, like, music. I feel like you'd... You guys would definitely go deep, almost sometimes maybe even, like, I'm being told, like, melancholy. Like, I feel like you'd go deep into, like, your feelings or emotions. But there's something here about, like, even at times less singing, more rhythm. Because I almost, I don't know why I see you guys being very creative anyway. And I'm being shown this something about instruments where I just feel like you'd use the instruments to kind of, like, relay your feelings and emotions if that makes sense like getting the violins out getting the harp out getting the you know what i mean like i'm being shown a lot of different uh instruments and things uh that i feel like you guys would put into your music um i don't know why i keep thinking of autumn like fall i keep being shown that so i don't know if that would be like an aesthetic if you guys like that sort of aesthetic uh but that's what i keep being shown but something feels very indie maybe a slightly like indie rock or something like that i'm being shown like i almost feel like if you guys were the celebrities i feel like you'd want to perform you know like olivia rodrigo she said I, I don't know how true this is i read it somewhere it said something like she said she doesn't want to do like big arena sort of things she likes doing the most small theaters for her tours um just because she feels like it fits better with the music i feel like you'd be one of those type of artists like i feel like you do more smaller intimate kind of like um like places if that makes sense or even like i'm being shown festivals and stuff like that i almost feel like you guys would be more focused there if that makes sense um i don't know why it's just what i'm being shown with the music i keep here in mamas and papas the song california dreaming you know the beginning with the guitar and being shown that so yeah there's there's something about that with the, the music and the instruments it could be that you guys already play instruments and that's why i'm picking it up like you'd incorporate that into the music but if you don't i just feel like you'd focus on the on like the rhythm and things like that i feel very very aware of like this guitar needs to go here and the piano needs to go here because this is how the emotions are coming out of me and this is how it kind of feels to me if that makes sense um yeah and i almost feel like there's a mystery around you guys as well like i almost feel like you'd be like those types of like artists that might not show their face i'm thinking of like sia when she had that bob over her face or like marshmallow the dj where he wears that like marshmallow head um i feel like you might even do that or you may even like drop like albums go away for a little bit drop albums go away for a little bit you know like you see those artists and they drop like once every five years and it's like very niche but it's like a golden album and then they kind of like pull back i don't know why i'm thinking of frank ocean with uh blonde like i'm thinking of that sort of thing like i feel like you're there and then you're not and i also feel like you guys would not want to have too much social media presence even if like you think oh i don't know maybe i would maybe i'd like to be kind of like celebrity like that i almost feel like if you guys dipped your foot in that world you'd be like not for me not interested and i feel like you do very like normal things if that makes sense i feel like you'd maybe like stay off social media or post very cryptically um if that makes sense like that's kind of like how i imagine like the album and the music process would go uh for you guys i keep being shown like colors uh for some reason i keep being shown like dark grays and then like browns um and oranges i don't know why i'm being shown that um because i keep like it's making me think of like the autumn and fall that keep showing up to me for some reason um like I'm thinking of Season of the Witch by I'm sure his name's Donovan, Donovan, something like that. I'm being shown that type of music. Um I also feel like you'd be the type as well to like you know that song, um, it was on Peaky Blinders and it was on Scream. Um and it's like take a little walk and I can't remember the rest of the words. Um Oh, what was it called? It's it's the theme song to Peaky Blinders. So if you wanna Google it, it's that song. But like I know it was in Scream as well at one point, but anyway, that type of, um, I, I feel like you'd have like an impact like that where your song might go on to like a TV show or like a movie or something like that and be known for that. I'm thinking of like James Bond 
and Billie Eilish's song No Time To Die. I'm thinking of that song for Pretty Little Liars, Got A Secret, Can You Keep It sort of thing. Like I, I'm thinking of that, you know what I mean? Um, I'm thinking of that. I also feel like you guys would, I, I don't know why I'm just thinking of country. So some of you guys might influence some like, have some like country influence over your music as well. But I feel like the impact, I feel like you have a loyal fan base. I feel like you would, it's like that constant kind of like streaming things that fan base is still there like it's it's niche but it's like you know ev everyone kind of like loves that or at least everyone knows about that that kind of artist like i feel like you'd be like an, a vinyl like you'd be like top sell a vinyl type of artist if that makes sense um a little bit alt <laughs> like alternative but like i just feel like you'd have that and i think you'd like pop out and then pull back pop out and then pull back sort of thing um there was somebody I was thinking of then, Thundercat, Thundercat, one of my friends, Navan, hey Navan, if, if you're watching, um, she uh, sent me loads of music from Thundercat not that long ago and I'm thinking of that too. I feel like you'd have like a niche sort of, you know, vibe and I feel like you'd be there then you're not, you know, so I, maybe in this reality, um, you might have a lot of like 8th house placements, um, you may just be somebody that likes to kind of like be here and then gone, here then gone, like Scorpio placements, I'm just picking up that um sort of vibe um but yeah i feel like you'd come and disappear come and disappear in terms of music you'd kind of like just drop an album and go and then it would like you know kind of like break records like that but i i feel like it's it's more i don't think it would be like radio play we're number one all the time it wouldn't be like that it's more so very like niche um that sort of thing if that makes sense and i feel like you'd add a lot of serious aspect to your music i feel like you'd like talk about like really deep feelings i feel like i'm tapping into my feelings really deeply and getting them into song so it's like moving people and making people feel a certain way that's why there's an emphasis on instruments i think uh to get the feeling out there you know where my words can't the feeling can kind of come out um that's what i'm being shown um yeah so pile number two that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys lots of love oh god i just i don't know what happened with my throat then <laughs> um i hope you guys have a lovely morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at if you were to re release an album, what would it sound like? What would the aesthetic be? What would the um, the imagery be? What would the sound be? What would the impact be? So you guys chose the Calvin Klein perfume. I'm gonna get straight in with Tarot. So Spirit Guides, tap me into my pile number threes. If they were to release an album, what would it sound like? If my pile number threes were to release an album, what would it sound like? What would the impact be? Um, if my pal number threes were to release an album, I feel like you guys would, um, kind of, I I'm being shown like rap sing, like think of like a Doja Cat where she like raps and sings. Um, I know Mac Miller would like rap and sing as well. Childish Gambino rap and sing. Like there's that sort of kind of crossover I'm being shown. Um, pal number three, please. Or you would literally just rap, but there would be, like, you'd also sing on it, if that makes sense. So it could be, like, 80% rap, and then you 20% sing. Think of, like, a Nicki Minaj. She would kind of, like, sing, but mainly rap. Or it would be, you'd, you'd sing, and then rap would be kind of, like, incorporated into that. Uh, that's what I, that's what I'm being shown. Um, pile number three, please, for a guide. If pile number three were to drop an album, we have the Nine of Cups we have the five of pentacles pile number three please spirit guides pile number three we have the ten of pentacles pile number three please spirit guides pile number three and we have the hanged one transition and sacrifice okay and the back of the deck, you have the Queen of Rings, which I'm going to have to cover up. Let me just put this over her. So Queen of Pentacles is at the back of the deck. Okay. Pile number three, please, for guys. If they were to release an album, what would it sound like? How would it sound? Um, first off, I feel like you'd have a lot to say. I almost feel like you'd have a lot to say almost like about 
your life because I, I feel like there's a lot of lyrics like a lot of words like I almost feel like I've got a lot going on in my brain and I need to get it onto the paper that's probably why I was being shown rap as well because of course you can get more lyrics into a song when you're rapping than you are singing um so it's probably why I was being shown that because I, I don't know why I'm being shown if you were to make like music I think you'd make your albums be like kind of diaries um it wouldn't just be like I have this aesthetic and this is the kind of like type of music I want to make it's like no like I've got things to say in this era of my life and this is like a musical diary I feel like that's how you'd use it and I think that you'd really kind of like pour a lot of like your thoughts and like mind into it I almost feel like I'm blowing off steam I'm getting my energy into this so I almost feel like your words and your messages would be very like charged I feel like you'd really put a lot of your personality and a lot of your emotion into your music so like if you were feeling angry I feel like you'd think of like Beyonce don't hurt yourself where she really screams into the song um and then if you were to get like your emotions out and be really like you know um get really emotional i feel like you get that out of there i'm trying to think who like cries on a song or gets you can hear tears think of like ariana grande song i wish i hated you like you can hear her tears you hear her kind of like a little bit in that like i feel like you'd get that into your song so when you were happy like you could tell um and i really do feel as well like there would be a lot of experimenting uh for you guys because i feel like this feeling's making me feel like this and this feeling's making me feel like that so I'm really experimenting I don't think you'd stick to a particular genre at all I think that you would literally like add different genres into um into one like I feel like you'd have like rap and then you'd add some house music and then but it would be like I feel like you guys would be the type to put out like a lot of albums like every other year you know what I mean? Um, and this is how I'm feeling now. And this is how I'm feeling now. And I think they'd have different aesthetics. So this is my like dark, you know, feminine or dark masculine era. And this is my, um, you know, uh, I was going to say a word that YouTube won't let me say. It starts with C. This is my bad B era. Let's put it that way. You know what I mean? Or this is my like melancholy, mysterious era. Like I feel like you'd have a lot. You know how Taylor Swift has so many albums out? I feel like you'd kind of have that like just Beyonce as well like lots of different albums for like different eras I feel like you'd be known for that and I also feel like you guys would have longevity because I feel like you'd switch it up think of like Rihanna with a different theme and hairstyle every album she put out so she had that longevity because she was bringing something fresh I feel like that would be you guys because I feel like you guys constantly evolve and grow anyway um so I think that you kind of like let off steam and I feel like you'd kind of I don't think you'd set out to be like this is the aesthetic this is the feeling and this is th what we're going for with the album I think that because you guys naturally grow I feel like you awaken to new parts of yourself and then I think they'd go into an album then where it would be like this is my um you know this album's like all pink and it's you know I'm thinking of like Pink Panthers with like her uh different kind of like sounds so it's like that's going into this album but then the next album is like I'm going very heavy metal like I'm going deeper and darker and it's like you're not meaning to make these aesthetics and I feel like you'd be a bit of a trendsetter to be honest because it's making me think of Rihanna I don't think you'd be meaning to go for those different types of albums with an aesthetic I just think you'd be growing so much I think it would fold into the, the music and then I think people would just kind of catch that wave then if that makes sense and I feel like you would be very innovative uh in that aspect but I do see rapping because I see a lot of lyrics like I see a lot of words like I, I feel like there's a lot going on in my mind that I need to kind of get out there's a lot of feelings that need to get out like I feel like I really need to um like get like talk about this talk about that and I feel like you'd also if you were like a celebrity then I feel like you'd also let your music do the talking so it's almost like if you went through a breakup or something happened and everyone wanted to know about it I feel like you'd put it in the music so people would like run to the music to hear it and listen to it I feel like you'd be one of those people as well um and I think you'd have like I think you guys out of the ones I've seen so far I feel like you guys would be the ones that would be like number one and you know like you have like Taylor Swift's fan base is like huge Beyonce's fan base is like huge you had Rihanna you know I know she doesn't make music that much these days but like well at all but you know her fan base was huge I feel like you'd have that top type of like huge fan base like you'd be known worldwide but you'd also have the fan base I feel like you'd have that because I, I I feel like you'd have a lot of people really connect into you because I feel like they'd connect to things that you have to say because with the five of pentacles going into the ten of pentacles I almost feel like your 
turning your shortcomings into something like turning lemonades to uh, lemons to lemonade so I feel like you'd go through an experience and talk about it but then other people would relate I'm thinking of like Eminem as well um you know in the monster where he says if um, I'm not here to save the children but if one kid out of a thousand million could relate that's great or something like that I feel like you'd have people like really relate to you and really kind of like understand um I've seen people on TikTok as well when they talk about Taylor Swift and they're like oh she writes lyrics and they I relate to them sort of thing um so I feel like you'd have that sort of kind of draw to you you know what I mean I feel like people would really relate to you there um because the way I'm thinking of it but I know not a lot of people might but like I think that with like Mac Miller I really relate to like his lyrics so I that could be different for all of you so think of someone you know you relate to their lyrics and think of like how drawn you are then to that person and you feel kind of like connected there like oh that really connected with me people would have that with you I feel um so I feel like you'd really spark that kind of like larger kind of community but I also feel like you'd have bops like I feel like you'd be on the charts a lot I also feel like you know like Doja Cat when she put out Hot Pink and then she like really wanted to start the Planet Her era. She really wanted to get into that era but the songs of Hot Pink kept going viral so she had to keep like waiting. Like she was, she, I think she was about to start pushing Planet Her out and then the song from Hot Pink Street started going vi viral and then she had to wait again. I feel like that might happen <laughs> with you guys. Like I feel like by the time you guys would drop an era like drop an album you would be in a different era because you'd be writing from a different perspective you'd be like that was two seasons ago of my life but now I've got to promote it and then like people would be blasting these songs and it's like that was three years ago like that I'm I've been nine different people since then I've made two albums since then I feel like that'd be that you know what I mean um yeah and I feel like with you I feel like you'd kind of like have a fan base that'd be like give me more give me more give me more sort of thing um i'm thinking of like i was scrolling twitter the other day and i saw people uh cardi b shout like having to go to her fans and and kind of kicking off at them because they kept asking for music and she was like shouting at them and i was just like oh my god like you know even though she hasn't dropped out like music in a while like she was re like, people were really like drop the album put music out um and i was like i could not be like an artist if people were at me like that but I kind of feel like that would happen <laughs> with you even though I feel like you'd put out music quite regularly because you shift a lot um I feel like people would be like I want more I want more I want more like I'm waiting for more sort of thing um I feel like you'd have that I feel like you'd be the kind of like worldwide uh type of artists pile number three this is the biggest indicator of it um and I think you'd make a lot of like abundance like financially and I think like you know like when people sell like a lot of copies and like lo they push loads of units musically I feel like with the queen of pentacles being at the back of the deck I feel like you would you would do that I feel like you'd be the the ones to to do that um yeah so pile three that is what I have for you I really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comments down below if you did I'm sending you guys all of my love I hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pile four welcome to your reading so you guys chose the shell and we are taking a look at if you released an album what would it sound like what would the aesthetic be what would the impact be that's what we're taking a look at so let's go in so pile number four please spirit guides tap me into my pile number fours if my pile number fours were to release an album please spirit guides what would it sound like what would the impact be pile four please spirit guides pile number four uh we have the eight of pentacles we have the king of wands Pile number four, please, spirit guides. If pile number four released an album, what would it sound like? Oh, goodness. We have The Magician. I feel like you guys would have a really angelic voice or a really siren-like voice. Because um, it's making me think of, like, Harley Bailey. And when she sings, like, it's very angelic. Um, I just feel like you'd have, like, a silky or, like, really light voice um that's how I feel or you'd be able to do like those whistle tones and stuff like that I just feel like you'd have 
um i feel like you'd really like push your voice or use your voice in different ways you know billy eilish is very soft spoken think of like pink panther she's very soft spoken like i'm being shown that um or oh, there'd be like a distinct voice i don't know why i'm thinking of billy ray cyrus i'm thinking of like his like really husky <laughs> kind of voice um i'm being shown that like i feel like there's a there's a sound that I'm bringing through. Oh, you know Quavo, sometimes he can sound like a little like auto-tuned or he like plays with his voice. I'm being shown that like there's some sort of like I'm using my voice in like a certain way. Um, I'm thinking of like Michael Jackson as well. Like he would use his voice in a certain way. He was known to have a distinct voice. So yeah, there's, there's something there about the voice that I feel like people would like or it would be like, oh, that's that person because they have this type of voice. I'm thinking of Jesse Reyes as well. She's very distinct um eight of swords overcoming fear self-entrapment okay back of the deck we have the moon okay um eight of pentacles king of wands the magician and the eight of swords okay um i do feel with like you guys's music like some of the other piles it was like no you're gonna jump around aesthetics i don't feel like you would i feel like you'd have like a like a sound that your voice would kind of be known for and i feel like you'd create kind of like music like that and then i also feel like because of that then your albums would be very far and in between think of like adele she has like a proper soulful loud like loud voice very deep like you know she can belt is what i'm trying to say like she's got like a really power powerhouse voice but like she drops an album like once every five years so it's like we're not having the same songs every other year she does really spread it out she goes away and comes back so i almost feel like you have something like that and i do think your music would be quite soulful i keep i'm being shown like whitney houston when she sings um and i will always love you and then i'm thinking of harley bailey um that in your hand song so this the soul here i really feel like i feel like you guys would have ballads it's the first time i've seen ballads in the last from this read the reading so far i'm being shown like ballads i feel like there would be like really thought provoking not thought thought provoking like emotionally provoking songs like i i'm thinking of like beyonce on the sasha fierce album when she um she had songs like um i'm sure listen was on that album it might not have been but she had like if i were a boy and then a halo um like i'm thinking of that like i feel like i'm kind of like really singing and, and getting that you know getting getting the noise out and getting getting like my voice really out there and i feel like i'm bringing through proper ballads but i feel there's something really like silky about the kind of like instruments or like maybe there'd be like spiritual flowers or like spiritual tones maybe very i mean you chose the shell so like very like watery tones ah you chose the shell very sireny like you'd have a kind of like siren voice i feel like you blend your your sounds in like certain ways there's this song on tiktok I don't know who sings it but if, i think somebody speaks in kind of like french and it's like a really like mystical kind of song i can't remember what it's called but i feel like you just have like i'm i feel like i'm playing your music and i'm going into like a mystical world think of like jenea i go with her singing bowls and her music i feel like i'm going into a mystical world i feel like i'm going on a ride and i feel like my emotions are really coming out um i don't think it, you'd be very like lyric heavy in terms of like pals three felt like they were rapping because it was like oh my thoughts are going into this this feels more like i'm leading with my emotion and this is the emotion that needs to come out and this is how i'm feeling and i'm putting it in here but i'm being shown like a lot of like tropical house sounds in the background i'm being shown like a lot of like um a lot of like soul um like sounds like i'm thinking of like 808s as well like i I feel like there's just like a lot of like mystical little like you know sometimes people put like a sound in production and it sounds like little stars twinkling like I almost feel like that's kind of added to it I feel like I'm really like bringing you in like siren wise and I feel like you guys as well like performance wise I feel like you'd have you'd be one of those artists where people would want to watch you perform pay to see you perform and I feel like they'd watch your live shows like I feel like if you you wouldn't need to do all of the chaotic stunts on the stage i feel like you would just stand there i feel like you'd have a really aesthetically pleasing kind of like backdrop and i feel like you would just sing and sing like a ballad or just allow the, the rhythm and, and the sound to kind of like take you soul music i feel like you'd have very like i'm being shown like neo soul i feel like you'd have really soulful um music that's what's coming through i'm thinking of well as well of solange solange knowles 
I'm being shown uh, her album. I've forgotten the name of the album. She has like clips on her hair. I've completely forgotten the name of the album. But you'd be very like that. I, I'm thinking of um, Childish Gambino as well um, and his music. I feel like you'd have that um, sort of sound. Very soulful though. I feel like I, Adele, like I'm, I'm, I'm really built in, you know, like I'm really getting those songs. I'm thinking of Rolling in the Deep and, and uh, what are the songs does she sing? Someone Like You, like there's a piano, you know, and I'm just singing. I feel like you'd really sing and, and like really get your emotions out with it. Um, but again, I feel like you'd be far and in between with albums. I feel like you drop an album five years later, drop an album six years later, drop an album. You'd be very much like that. Um, that's kind of like how I feel. And I feel like you, you would, as far as like a celebrity type of thing, I feel like you'd be one of those artists that like can't do any wrong. Like you'd be very beloved. I don't know why I'm thinking of Celine Dion. She she belts, doesn't she? She really sings and gets her um, voice out there. Um, I'm thinking of like Nina Simone as well. Um, like I'm really getting my voice out because uh, I'm thinking of Feeling Good by Nina Simone. I'm, I'm thinking of that song. I feel like you'd have that, but I feel like you'd you'd be one of those like artists that everyone loves. Like very, I feel like you'd be kind of like one of those artist that would turn legend you know what i mean like that's a legend you know because i'm thinking of like whitney houston like she was a legend you know um so i feel like you'd be one of those artists um yeah i i, I really do feel like people would look back and be like oh wow like that was like that was like one hell of an artist like they don't make artists like that anymore you know what i mean like they don't just sing like that anymore like you'd be very like that i feel um like very much so I, there's a lot of emotion I feel like you'd put into your music even if in every day you're not someone that allows your emotion to come out I feel like that's where your emotion would flow even if you're like mm, I'm not very emotional I feel like you, you'd it would be like an escape for you if you were to make music I feel like it would just come out and I think it would be like a form of release and then I think that's probably why people would connect because they'd feel that release with you you know what I mean they jump on the wave to kind of release uh release with you but i feel like you'd be loved by everyone there's this kind of i'm not gonna lie this is kind of like goody two shoes sort of vibe where it's like this person can do no wrong <laughs> like you know what i mean it's that sort of vibe like everyone loves uh paddle falls and the music like everyone loves that um yeah i feel like there's just like a lot of soul i feel like you put your heart into the music that you make and just really get your feelings out i just feel like you do ballads and being shown like a lot of ballads are just like there's not too much production or like the focus i feel like your your voice would lead and then the music would just kind of like complement it you know what i mean your voice would kind of be the instrument even if you wanted to go a cappella, i feel like it would work because i'm thinking of if you've ever heard chloe and harley's album the kids are all right um no matter what instruments they use, and I'm sure on some of the tracks they do have like a cappella kind of like interludes, but the music complements the voice rather than their voice complementing the music, if that makes sense. Like it almost feels like they sang it and then added beats after it because their voice really leads. I don't know why I'm thinking of the kids are all right in terms of productions, Chloe and Harley. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like you'd be like the legends of the of, the, of all the five piles. I feel like you'd be the ones everyone like, kind of like looks up to. I feel like you'd be if you were celebrities, you'd be like you know how Beyonce's like a celebrity of celebrities. Like the celebrities see her as like the holy grail. I feel like you'd have that sort of, sort of kind of you know like vibe there. Um, yeah, so pile number four, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Um, hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, pile five, welcome to your reading. That sounded so weird saying pile five because I never have a fifth pile. That sounded so weird coming out of my voice, um, out of my mouth. Um, but hey, pile five welcome to your reading so you guys chose the ari perfume and we are going to be taking a look at if you were to drop an album release an album what would it sound like you know what would the tones be what would the aesthetic be um yeah what would the impact be so let's get in so pile number um pile number five tap me into the collective of my pile number fives 
Please for it, guys. If Pile 5 dropped an album, what would it sound like? What would it be like? Tap me into my pile number fives. We have the King of Cups, Integrity and Stability. Pile 5, please for it, guys. If my Pile 5 dro fives dropped an album, what would it sound like? What would it be like? Four of Swords, Solitude, Healing. Pile five, please, for it, guys. We have the tower. And we have the nine of wands. Test of strength, perseverance. Um, in the back of the deck, we have the hanged one, transition and sacrifice. Okay. Um, first off, I feel like you guys would really bat your soul in terms of your music. I also feel like you talk about things in your music that, like... Um, like, I feel like you guys, have, my pilot, maybe have experienced a lot in life. So I feel like you'd put a lot of that into your music. I'm thinking of, like, Eminem when he really put a lot of his, like, childhood and what happened to him in, into his music. And even played on feelings that he felt, but, like, maybe might not have been able to express. And maybe he kind of pushed the boat in that aspect as well. Um, So I'm being shown that. I just feel like I'm kind of going deep. I don't feel like you guys would be rap, though. Like, I, I don't really feel that. I don't know why I'm picking up a kind of, like haunted vibe like your vocals on on your music would be very haunting i feel like you'd have it feels very scorpionic in the sense of like the like aesthetic like i feel like i'd go really deep i've there's this very like alternative vibe the only way i can describe what i'm seeing i remember selena gomez was meant to drop an album because i was a big fan of selena um i still love selena but she was meant to drop an album back in um 2017 and it was meant to be very very dark and weird and kind of whatever and it was called seven heavens right and i think she dropped three songs that were going to be on the album so if you've heard her songs bad liar fetish and wolves um you'll know the kind of sound it was going for and if you've watched the video of fetish she does some weird things like she eats soap i think she uses like eyelash curlers on her tongue it's like a really odd i think she like eats snow or something like that as well like she just puts it in her mouth and the the video is just kind of odd and i feel like you kind of play around with kind of like aesthetics like that i feel like you'd play around with like i don't know why i'm thinking of like horror like i don't know why i think i'm thinking of like beetlejuice i'm thinking of like the corpse bride i'm thinking of like um what's it called nightmare before christmas like i feel like i'm playing on those types of like aesthetics i'm thinking of like tim i always say tim hortons and it's tim burton's or it's tim burton's and i say tim hortons tim you know the the one that does Caroline and the cops by tim burton it's tim burton's please let me know if i'm saying it wrong because i always get tim burton's and tim hortons mixed up one of them's like fast food the other one's a director i think he's a director anyway so um i feel like you play on that like i'm being shown that type of vibe i don't know if some of you guys are katuvian so i don't know if some of you guys have like in your side aerial chart i don't know if you have a lot of like leo like maga energy uh maga nakshatra you may have that because i'm being shown like a lot of katuvian like energy here and i know um tim burton i hope it's tim burton he's katuvian because i'm being shown that like i feel like i'm kind of playing on that um, I'm thinking of, what's it called, like, um, The Bride of Frankenstein, and I'm thinking of, like, Chucky, and, like, I don't know why I feel like I'm incorporating horror, I don't know if you guys like horror, but, like, horror are, like, darker kind of, like, movies and things, and I feel like I'm incorporating them into my music, I feel like I'm going dark or being a bit edgy, I feel like you'd be a bit edgy, to be honest, um, I'm doing that, and I'm putting that into the music, and I'm kind of like having an aesthetic in that aspect i feel like you'd have kind of like witchy music to be honest again another artist um if you listen to it lauren gerard i don't know how to say her name last name so apologies if i'm saying it wrong i think it's like giragi lauren giragi i may be saying it wrong um but she was in fifth harmony and she does very like deeper kind of like kind of soulful but like she plays on like darker aesthetics in terms of her music and i feel like you'd have that sort of sound um I feel like you'd be known as someone that's really cool. So I actually do think that you guys would be quite known celebrity-wise. I feel like you'd be kind of like praised in terms of like your aesthetic. Because I don't feel, it's not like, oh, you're just doing horror music. It's not like that. I feel like you'd have very like deep music or just very soulful kind of like, um, uh, 
think of like Lana Del Rey, like I feel like similar to Pow Too, you'd have a kind of niche sound, if that makes sense. Um, maybe a little indie. Uh, but I feel like there'd be some pop in there too, because I feel like I feel like you guys would be the type to kind of blend worlds together and push into like an audience for like you know it to go kind of like worldwide or to go big you know what i mean and, and get some kind of attraction um because i feel like you'd have re i feel like you guys are very artistic and i feel like you'd have really cool concepts in terms of music and videos and i think you'd be a little weird a little edgy but i also think it would like appeal to people so i feel like you might take inspiration from like movies and things similar to pal number one would take an inspiration but i feel like you'd you'd do it in the more like funky kind of like weird way in a, in a way like edgy way if that makes sense um and I feel like you because I'm thinking of Billie Eilish's album when we fall asleep where do we go and you know she has like kind of like the darker themes in terms of her videos and things like that I'm thinking of the song um is it called bury a friend when we fall asleep where do we go I'm thinking of that like kind of like video and, and that type of sound I feel like you would even maybe play with that a little bit but I don't know why I feel like there's a part of you that gives off main pop boy or main pop girly I feel like you kind of have that within you anyway so I feel like you might even try to be a bit niche and edgy and like I don't even think you try I think it's just like well, this is my niche this is where I'm going with it but because I feel like you're quite cool <laughs> like that's how I feel I feel like if I saw you I'd be like you're quite cool I feel like you'd um get a really big following and I feel like people would be really drawn to you there um I'm thinking of like you know those celebrities where people are like oh like remember Alexa Demi and everyone was like oh she has siren eyes and she's like got that aesthetic and she's like really cool and like whatever like people do that with different celebrities it doesn't matter if you don't like Alexa Demi I'm just thinking of that craze for her um at one point you'd have that around you and I think it would make you kind of like cool and people would be really drawn to you and I think you'd get a lot of like coffee cuts in terms of like people trying to mimic your sound or like you know how everyone when Ariana had a ponytail and the the winged eyeliner and stuff and every like young girl was trying to have that Ariana type of aesthetic and you see people and they they'll try and mimic certain things I feel like you'd have one of those like styles that I feel people would be like how to get pal five style and how to you know have this aesthetic and I feel like you'd have a kind of a static named after you I really do feel that way and I feel like um yeah you'd have that you'd have that kind of like following that I feel like you'd be one of the main pop people boys boys girlies whatever I feel like you'd be you'd be known that way even though I feel like your music wouldn't be like what you'd normally see on the charts I feel like you'd have like an indie flair um you'd kind of go a bit dark and deep a little bit melancholy I feel like you'd have like I said about that Selena Gomez fetish video I feel like you'd have kind of videos like that I feel like you'd kind of push the boat in that aspect um but I don't know why horror keeps coming up I don't know if you like horror um at least I feel like you'd play on it for um for like aesthetics and videos and things I just feel like there's there's something there that I'm kind of being shown um because I almost feel like I'm the opposite of what like you'd kind of like want me to be but then I make it that way so for example like I'm if you wanted me to be like the main pop by the main pop girly or whatever like if you were to push me in that way I'd have to have this cookie, cookie cutter image but I'm gonna go rogue and I'm gonna go against it because that's not me but then because people are naturally drawn to me and the aesthetic that I'm bringing I'm very creative I become the main pop or girly but boy or girly but I'm not cookie cutter and I'm not what you'd expect from me at all but I'm still pushed to the top so I'm still you know like at the top and and it's like I'm being I'm innovative then like I'm I'm creating a new space um of what can really be at like the top of the charts I feel like you do that but I feel like you talk about some deep things I feel like you'd go kind of like really deep into like this is what happened to me and like this is something that I experienced and these are my feelings and I'm really like I feel like I'm bearing my soul kind of um but I'm seeing a really nice balance because pal number four they felt like I'm bearing my soul but it's more like I'm emotionally with the ballads getting it out it was very soulful and then pal number three was like I'm putting a lot into my music but it's more mental like so it's like it was more like rap and I'm like writing it all down you feel balanced between the both like I almost feel like these are my feelings and I'm putting it out if I feel like you'd be poetic with your lyrics and music I feel like you'd be very poetic um very poetic and there's just a way that it would come out that it would just be kind of like effortless 
you know sometimes when you can see artists and they'll try and be poetic but it might seem a little forced um i feel like you'd be kind of like poetic but it, it wouldn't be forced if that makes sense um yeah and similar to pile i think it was too i feel like you'd be a kind of like a vinyls kind of artist i feel like people would like to get vinyls of of your music and have like posters and mimic the style i feel like you'd be like known on kind of like pinterest for like an aesthetic that you'd bring um i feel like you'd birth an aesthetic like the siren eyes thing and the you know the doe eyes thing and the you know whether all the aesthetics are kind of birthed from i feel like you'd birth one you'd birth one i feel like you'd blend things together to create your own niche and i think you'd birth a, a genre and a static and i think that um people would be really really drawn to maybe like mimicking that or you know moving i feel like you'd blaze a path and i feel like that's why you'd kind of be well known you'd definitely be an artist that would try and go against the grain but still go number one because you just have a star factor i feel you feel like that to me so i feel like it would show in your music it's quite cool I don't know what the horror thing is though, but it sounds cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, pile number five, that is what I have for you. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.